Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is uh, to the honorable juries and my friends. My name is Kiran Akila Subagio from SMP Azahra 2 Palembang. Today I will be telling the stories of Kusuma and the volcano. Once upon a time, there was a king and his queen who fled to Mount Bromo. They have a daughter who can't cry like normal babies, so they name him, uh, so they name her Roro Anta. At the same time, live a Brahmana and his wife. They have a son who cries very loud, so they name him Jopo Sega. Roro Anteng grew into a beautiful girl and Joko Seger became a handsome young man. They got married and made a new village named Tengger, a combination of their name, Roro Anteng and Joko Seger. After a few years of marriage, they, they still have no children, so so Joko Seger med meditated in a cave, begging the gods to give him children. One day, the gods finally agreed to give him 25 children. Uh, Joko Seger happily said, thank you very much. But there is one condition that Joko Seger have to do. He have to sacrifice one of them when they turn adult. But he was complacent, he forgot about his promise. So one night, the gods, the gods uh, entered his dream to remind him to fulfill his promise. Joko Seger, you have to keep your promise or else the mountain will erupt and destroy everything. Restless Joko Seger told his dream to his children, but no one wants to except the youngest son, Jaya Kusuma. Please, father, let me do it. I love our family and the people of Tengger, but please. Me hold the memorial and offer stuff to the creator of Mount Bromo every year. He finally threw himself to the crater of Mount Bromo. The people were sad for losing such a nice guy. So the villagers of Tengar hold the memory of and offers their harvest every 14th of the month of Kasada. Till this day, the memorial is still full, uh, uh, and the ritual is named Kasada Ritual. The moral values you can get from this story is that you have to keep your promise and willingly sacrifice for others. Thank you very much.